How to tell if your diamond is a fake. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Okay, so you finally have the engagement ring of your dreams. It's perfect. But your fiance says he got such an amazing deal that you start having doubts as to whether or not your diamond is real. You want to know for sure, and there are a few ways you can test your diamond yourself. We will share some of them with you, telling you which ones work and which only partially work. You will need a magnifying glass, a 10 power jeweler's loop, plate glass, a newspaper, and a black light. Step one, the scratch test. You've heard that a diamond can scratch glass. Well, that's true, but many other gemstones do as well. So even if your diamond is real, you may damage it by scraping it across glass. So leave this authenticity test for MacGyver. Step two, the fog test. Real diamonds disperse heat instantaneously. You can tell if your rock is the real thing by fogging it up like a mirror. If it stays fogged for three to four seconds or longer, it's a fake. A real diamond would clear instantly. With this test, you must make sure that your diamond is completely clean and free from oil or dirt. Step three, the transparency test. This do-it-yourself test only works if your diamond is loose. After first making sure it is clean, place your unmounted diamond on top of newsprint with the pointy side, the pavilion, facing up. If you can read the newsprint clearly through the stone, then your diamond is a fake, probably a cubic zirconium or CZ. Genuine diamonds scatter light as it passes through them, making the newsprint look a little blurry. Step four, the inclusion test. All fake diamonds have one thing in common. None have any inclusions or internal blemishes. So if you didn't pay an arm and a leg for your diamond, yet it has perfect clarity, chances are you have a fake. Step five, the black light test. You might have heard that real diamonds appear fluorescent blue under a black or ultraviolet light. Well, almost. Only about one third of all diamonds will look fluorescent blue. 99% of fakes don't look blue. So while you could do this test yourself at home with store-bought black light, it wouldn't tell you much. Don't bank on the black light test. Step six, detecting treated diamonds. Some real diamonds have flaws, flaws that jewelers fix by injecting liquid silicone into the stone. This clarity enhancement is similar to the way chips and car windshields are fixed. The problem is that these diamond fixes aren't permanent. Exposure to sun, heat, and even some household cleaners will turn the silicone different colors or make it fall out altogether. You can often spot filled diamonds with a 10 power loop. In most states, it is against the law to sell you a treated diamond without first telling you. Again, with this test, you will need to view your diamond unmounted. Turn the diamond onto its face, point side up, and examine it carefully. If you see flashes of single colors, then you are looking at a fracture-filled treated diamond. If you see flashes with many rainbow colors at once, then you are probably looking at a fracture of an untreated diamond. Ooh, he really did get a heck of a deal. And rest assured, it is a real diamond. Done.